Right. I need you to close your eyes for a few seconds and I want you to think of the five things that's why you're here or why you come to us. Okay? Five seconds. Think of them. Now, open your eyes and I'm going to name five values. And if any of those values not on your list, you are on the wrong place. Number one, you choose to come here. We didn't go to you and we begged you to come to our sessions. We didn't went to drag you out, told your family to send you to us. We didn't do that. You decided I want to come to these sessions. That's number one. Number two, okay? We are very unique. That's why you choose to come. Very special, very creative, okay? Number three, our coaches are very honest and truthfully with you in terms of your development. If you are really good, they will tell you in your face that you are really good. If you are weak, they will tell you you are weak. If you are not good, they will tell you that you are not good, okay? They don't go around the pushes and that's why it helps okay, with our life skills to make you a better person, okay? Number four, you choose to challenge yourself to be a better person before being a better player. So in this place, you choose to come, you choose to challenge yourself, you choose to hear the truth which will hit you to challenge yourself and to be a better last things okay which is the most important for us if you come here you accept our terms and conditions to be consistent commit resilience and those are the most important things for us the five values i hoped at least there is two or three on your list if not all of them if they are not on your list at all, then you are in the wrong place. And we wish you all the best for your journey. If those are in your list, we will do everything in our power to make sure that you achieved something within your life. For your full potential, change your life around, make yourself better. And we have already seen so many examples of this. Good, 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 really good, really good. Really good, love that touch you. Love it, love it, love it. Good, good, get that touch better. Come on, Ash. Yes, go, adjust it. Nice, love it, good, that's good adoption. Really good, oh, that is close. That is close. Good. Nice touch, get that back foot, please. It's 
go, let's go, come on. Good, good. Success is no accident. Success does it just, it doesn't just come out of nowhere. He said it's your hard work, your perseverance, your learning, you studying, and the most important of all is about your passion, your love. Hey, what am I? Get the water out of your face. That's what he said. What did I say? Well, he told what Philly was trying to convey to us. Philly said, Your learning. Learning and listening. For you to become successful, guys, it takes an enormous amount of work. It's not about you just waking up, kicking the ball, or shooting 15 yards and scoring. There's a lot to learn, the fundamentals. Today, Coach Khalid done a drill which emphasized on receiving the ball with our back foot. Yeah? Why are we not implementing it here? Why are people flat footed? Why are people standing static? Why can't we position our body to an angle where we can receive the ball on our back foot? Why are we not working as a team? How many times when you come here, we, we reinforce the importance of teamwork? Working as a team. This is a team sport. It requires team effort. Yes, Jacko, I like that. When I'm speaking, you're doing something else. That's why you're losing the ball in the midfield. I'll tell you this. Most of you have got great footballing ability. But you are only going to excel when you start listening and doing what the coaches tell you to do. I promise you that. Pep Guardiola, he likes people who are attentive to detail. If Pep is talking to any of his teammates, and bear in mind, if he's talking and even one does something, he's gonna go on to them in front of everyone. And these guys are the ones setting expectations for us to follow. They are the professionals. They wake up, they got a nutritional diet, they got a disciplined habit of working hard, and they got technical and tactical drill. They get told of if they do something wrong. This is the natural disposition of life. When you do wrong, we punish you. When you do right, we reward you. However, there's nothing wrong with you doing wrong whilst doing the right thing. Because sometimes Coach Barra can tell you shoot, but sometimes when you shoot, it doesn't go on target. It doesn't matter because you try. But if Coach Barak is telling you shoot, but you don't shoot and you lose the ball, have you done the right thing or the wrong thing? Wrong thing. I don't mind you expressing yourself, but we need to do it at the right time. Coach Barak was getting on to you. He said, why are you taking liberties in your own house? Why are we dribbling? He kept persisting, pass, pass, pass. But you kept holding the ball and you lost it. And you put your, your team in, in jeopardy. So we need to listen, guys. When the coaches are speaking, you listen. And you try your best. Is that understood? All right. Now, what I'm going to say before we go in is mindset. Your mindset. I want us to develop... A specific sporting term called growth mindset. Now, who here knows what growth mindset might be? Going in the right direction, all that. But to put everything in a nutshell, growth mindset is when you are faced with a challenge and you don't see this challenge as an obstacle. So let's say right now I've got a boy and I'm looking for space, but I cannot see space. I need to implement and come up with a different way. So if I don't find space, what can I do? Can I then kick the ball forward for my teammates to push up? Can I put the ball into good spaces for my teammates to develop play? 
So all these key aspects plays crucial moments in our development. So we need to try and grasp. Simplicity, guys, is the best thing you could ever do as a footballer. Coach Barak will tell you, he played at a very good level. And I, I don't want to touch on it, probably he can tell you after. But when you look at good players and great players, you see the difference. Good players, they're trying to do what the great players are doing. And the great players, they're trying to do the simple stuff. Am I, am I wrong, Coach? Literally, the great players, they do the simple stuff. So try to be simple as much as you can for you to take your game from this level to that level. Okay, communication. You need to talk a lot. Yeah, you need to talk, guys. We are not talking. We are not talking. Okay, let's get. Say it again, there's four orange, fresh ones. If I put one rotten one, they're all gonna be rotten. Just keep that in mind. And on the behalf of me, to these two gentlemen and this lovely young lady, loud and clear, say thank you for their time. It's loud and clear. Come on. We gotta say best, back. The best thank you is what? What do you think? The best thank you. How can you say thank you today? By what? Showing it. Come here early on time. I appreciate work hard. Listen. Take information. When you are out outside this pitch, be a better society. You represent his name. You represent his name. When you were CYC, it's not just you. You're representing the whole community. So it's nice if you say thank you, but can I show it outside? Yeah, can I be a better human being, better kid, better friend, better son, better daughter? Just keep that in mind. And I really, really loved playing with you guys and I'll try to come as often as possible. By the way, who did Coach Barak um, Rambo Flick? Me? No, really. No, just Rambo Flick, not make as well. Listen, not make as well. Rambo was my, my favorite bit. Who was it? Oh, no. <laughs> right, what we got to say is thank you to? Barak. Right. Like all of us. Oh, everyone. Yeah, say, thank say thank you and give them a round of applause. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Yeah.